Hey everybody, Foilface here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about when your life began. And I know in a previous video we talked about how you could trace the beginning of your life, you know, back through evolution, how you know, life has just been a continuation of life since life first began on Earth. But today I wanted to talk about it more from, you know, when you yourself were born. And, you know, generally there's two, you know, general answers you can give to that, you know, question of when did your life begin? You know, you could say when you were born at birth, or you could say, you know, the moment that the sperm cell met the egg cell and your DNA that makes you, you formed. Those are two pretty general answers I think people give about when your life began. But I was thinking about if you consider the moment that your DNA formed to be the moment that you, the moment that you became you and your life began, you know, that's, you're talking about little, you know, molecules of stuff that came together to form your DNA. So if you claim that your DNA being created is what made you, you, why is it not that when the little molecules that form the DNA were formed, made you, you, or even when the elements that made of those molecules came together, made you, you. You know, you can break that down to, you know, just an infinite scale. Going and looking at all those particles that, you know, make up, you know, what make you up. You can keep breaking that down forever. And then you could also think about, you know, where are those particles, you know, what was their journey to get there? Where, did, if you could trace those particles back through time, you, know, you could probably trace those particles back to the formation of our galaxy. <laughs> you could just go back and back and back and back in time, and then before you know it, you know, those particles you know, can be traced all the way back to the Big Bang. So really, the entire history of the universe is what led to your creation, to your birth. You can trade. You can say that your life began at the Big Bang, like that was the start of your life. I mean, who's to say that's not? I mean, you don't remember your birth. <laughs> you don't remember when, you know, your DNA formed. It's just as abstract as, you know, remembering when you were born. It's just you could trace back the origin of your life forever. And then it's just. It's crazy to think about. Like the entire story of the universe, you know, the universe had to play out a certain way for you to be able to get here. Think of how many things had to happen to lead to you being born. I mean, don't even forget about like what happened in your parents' life to get to you being born, all the decisions they had to make to get you to be born. Look at the entire universe, the entire history of the universe had to play out a specific way for you to come into existence. That's just crazy to think about. The Big Bang was the beginning of all of our lives. The beginning of everything can be traced back to one moment. So, if you look at it that way, we're all so connected. We're all so similar. We can all trace our origin back to one moment in time. Like, that's even bigger than evolution. And we can trace our, you know, all of us back to the same point, you know, through evolution. But evolution of life on Earth is just a little tiny piece in the whole history of the universe had to play out. That just blows my mind. Yeah. So, that's all I have to say about that for now. I'm sure I'll talk more about that in previous, in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, we'll see, but anyway, I'm Foilface, the guy with Foilface who makes videos and talks about stuff, and I guess we'll see you later. Wow.